Hello everyone, welcome to Route to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve an interesting Olympiad question. So, the given question is if y by z whole to the power a multiplied with z by x whole to the power b multiplied with x by z whole to the power c equals to 1, then prove that y by z whole to the power 1 by b minus c equals to z by x whole to the power 1 by c minus a equals to x by y whole to the power 1 by a minus b. So here we have given an equation. From that we are asked to prove this equation. So without any delay let's start the solution. So we have given an equation that is y by z whole to the power a multiplied with z by x whole to the power b multiplied with x by y whole to the power c equals to 1. So in the next step we can write here we have y to the power a here we have 1 by y to the power c. So we can write y by a divided by y to the power c multiplied with z to the power b divided by 1 by z to the power a multiplied with Similarly, x to the power c divided by x to the power b equals to 1. So, we have an exponential rule that is a to the power m divided by a to the power n equals to a to the power m minus n. By applying this exponential rule here, we can write x to the power c minus b multiplied with y to the power a minus c multiplied with z to the power b minus a equals to 1. Let's take it as equation 1. So in the next step, from equation 1, we can write y to the power a minus c equals to 1 by z to the power b minus a multiplied with x to the power c minus b. So we have an exponential rule that is a by b whole to the power n equals to b by a whole to the power minus n. So, by doing reciprocal, the powers become negative. So, by using this exponential rule, we can write y to the power a minus c equals to z to the power a minus b multiplied with x to the power b minus c. So, here we have added just a negative sign in the power after doing the reciprocal. Okay. In the next step, we will take this a minus c power to the right hand side. So this become y equals to z to the power a minus b divided by a minus c multiplied with x to the power b minus c divided by a minus c. Now in the next step by dividing z in the both side of equation we have y by z equals to z a minus b divided by a minus c minus 1 multiplied with x to the power b minus c divided by a minus c this implies is y by z equals to so we have z to the power c minus b divided by a minus c multiplied with x to the power b minus c divided by a minus c this implies y by z equals to x to the power b minus c divided by a minus c multiplied with z to the power. We will take minus common. So we have b minus c divided by a minus c. So we can write this as y by z equals to x by z whole to the power b minus c divided by a minus c. Now taking this b minus c power to the left hand side we have y by z whole to the power 1 by b minus c equals to x by z whole to the power 1 by a minus c. So we can write this x by z as x by z whole to the power minus 1 divided by c minus a by taking minus 1 common in the denominator. So we have y by z whole to the power 1 by b minus c equals to z by x 
होल टू दी पावर वन बाय सी माइनस ए लेट्स टेक इट एज इक्वेशन टू सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन टू वी हैव वाई बाय जेड होल टू दी पावर वन बाय बी माइनस सी इक्व टू जेड बाई एक्स होल टू दी पावर वन बाय सी माइनस ए ओके ना एगेन कंसिडरिंग द इक्वेशन वन वी हैव सो वी कैन राइट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन सो वी कैन राइट जेड टू दी पावर बी माइनस ए इक्वल्स टू वन बाय एक्स टू दी पावर सी माइनस बी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ वाई टू दी पावर ए माइनस सी सो दिस इम्प्लाइज वी कैन राइट जेड टू दी पावर बी माइनस ए इक्वल्स टू एक्स टू दी पावर बी माइनस सी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ वाई टू दी पावर सी माइनस ए ओके नाउ टेकिंग बी माइनस ए पावर टू द राइट हैंड साइड वी हैव जेड इक्वल्स टू एक्स टू दी पावर b माइनस सी डिवाइडेड बाय b माइनस ए मल्टीप्लाइड विथ वाई टू दी पावर c माइनस ए डिवाइडेड बाय b माइनस ए ओके नाउ डिवाइडिंग x बोथ साइड ऑफ इक्वेशन वी हैव z बाय x इक्वल्स टू x टू दी पावर b माइनस सी डिवाइडेड बाय b माइनस ए माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ वाई टू दी पावर c माइनस ए डिवाइडेड बाय b माइनस ए so this implies is z by x equals to x to the power a minus c divided by b minus a multiplied with y to the power c minus a divided by b minus a so we can write z by x equals to x to the power minus c minus a divided by b minus a multiplied with y to the power c minus a divided by b minus a this implies is z by x equals to y by x whole to the power c minus a divided by b minus a now let's just take this c minus a power to the left hand side so we have z by x whole to the power 1 by c minus a equals to y by x whole to the power 1 by b minus a so in the next step we can write z by x whole to the power 1 by c minus a equals to y by x whole to the power 1 by minus of a minus b okay so by using exponential rule here we have z by x whole to the power 1 by c minus a equals to x by y whole to the power 1 by a minus b let's take it as equation 3 okay so in the next step by combining equation 2 and 3 we can write y by z whole to the power 1 by b minus c equals to z by x whole to the power 1 by c minus a equals to x by y whole to the power 1 by a minus b hence our equation proved i hope you have understood the solution thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more such interesting videos thank you